Hi, I'm Dr. Gene McHugh. I've been in private practice for over 20 years, and like many audiologists, the majority of my practice is adult oral rehabilitation. And the need for cerumen management is necessary in approximately 25% of the patients I see. For the past 15 years, I've used an operating microscope for visual ear examinations and cerumen removal. While the microscope is considered state-of-the-art for cerumen management, few audiologists, as a rule, utilize them in their offices. The reasons often cited in the literature include too high a price, lack of training, space limitations, and poor reimbursement from insurance companies. But another reason may be that no other audiologist has ever suggested or demonstrated that they can and should consider using otomicroscopy, especially if they perform cerumen management on a routine basis. Using an operating microscope has been one of the best investments I've made for my practice because the need for cerumen management is necessary in one out of four patients. And with this instrument, cerumen management is easier and safer than traditional methods. And for me, it means avoiding the disruption in completing services or worse, losing a patient in the referral process. So professionally, this makes me more autonomous. And the microscope can help you so if you're interested, consider using a microscope for your practice. So right up front, let's discuss why audiologists haven't used microscopes for cerumen management. Well, first of all, cost. Traditionally, microscopes have been relatively expensive, so much so that many authors and lectures in cerumen management have said the microscope is just not affordable to the average audiologist. That said, Prescott's now provides a high-quality microscope along with video camera designed especially for the audiology practice for under $10,000. Secondly, lack of training. Like any new instrument, it takes time to get comfortable with the microscope, but it doesn't take a great deal of special training. If you routinely conduct cerumen management with a simple otoscope or Hotchkiss otoscope or video otoscope, it'll only take you a matter of a couple of weeks before you feel comfortable with the microscope. If you feel like you need special training, ask your Prescott sales rep. He can help you get started, or you can ask about taking one of our special classes or workshops in cerumen management with otomicroscopy. Number three, lack of space. The operating room and ENT microscopes you're probably familiar with can and do take up large areas, but the Prescott's wall-mounted Omni 10 only takes up a small area when in use and when not in use, fits flatly against the wall. As you can see, I don't have a large area where I perform my cerumen management, only perhaps four feet by four feet. And finally, little or no reimbursement from insurance companies. Audiologists generally cannot bill for insurance when it comes to cerumen management, and this is a problem. However, there are many instruments that we as audiologists have, such as sound rooms, audiometric equipment, real ear devices, and video otoscopes that don't generate direct income. We have them because they make us more professional and they allow us to provide a better service to our patients. Well, video otomicroscopy is no different. It separates my level of cerumen management service from nurse practitioners, hearing aid dealers, and for that matter, other audiologists. Reimbursement is a valid issue. But I tell you, my patients notice that I use a microscope. They appreciate the investment I've made in using top quality equipment, and they notice that they're more comfortable when I clean their ears. And this is an intangible worth. It generates referrals from physicians and other patients because of the higher quality service product that I provide. And let me add one more thing. Microscopes are not restricted to our ENT colleagues. Yes, otolaryngologists have traditionally been the ones who have used in-office operating microscopes for ear examinations and minor surgical procedures. They use them because they're a superior tool. But you also have a need for a superior tool when doing something as delicate as cerumen management. So if you think you could benefit from upgrading to the same kind of equipment that ENTs traditionally use, then get one. Nothing restricts you from learning to use and to purchase a microscope. So what are the primary benefits of otomicroscopy? Cerumen management using the microscope is a safer, easier, and quicker way to remove cerumen from patients' ears for these reasons. 
enhanced illumination. And for those of us over age 40, illumination is extremely important. Magnification, up to 18 times magnification, making the canal and tympanic membrane structures extremely easy to see. Binocular vision, which gives you depth perception, allowing you to visualize the canal in three dimensions. And each eye lens is adjustable to your vision. And importantly, the freedom of using both hands. For the patient, ceruminectomy procedures are more comfortable and patients more confident in our technical skills. Your patient will also like the video display, which allows them to see what's happening to their ears. In my opinion, once audiologists are given a hands-on chance to use a microscope along with a few technique pointers, the benefits of using otomicroscopy will far outweigh the outdated reasons. I actually work in an office with three and a half ENTs. I'm actually doing the majority of the cerumen removal cases unless it is a complicated case like a mastoidectomy. I think it's very valuable to do it this way. It's so much easier and it gives you more of a comfort for you and the patient to be able to see what's going on. The biggest thing is sight. That vision, being able to see what's going on, you know you're not harming the patient when you can clearly see all aspects of the ear and the ear canal. I personally wouldn't be able would not feel comfortable performing a cerumen removal without the aid of the microscope.